the obstacle is the way. Yeah. I love the title again, and yes, some terrific titles. It reminds me of um, uh, Robert Schuller and uh, the seed of every adversity. In this, in in every adversity, the seed is sown for yet a great, greater triumph. Mm -hmm. think, and, and, and similar to that. And um, was there was there a moment in your life where that became apparent to you, which is why you wrote it? Or can, can you share any color so on that? I, so I sort of found Stoicism and philosophy in college, and so that was what I was really interested in. It's like I kind of have this just day job doing marketing stuff, and uh, I was good at it and I liked it, but it wasn't like what I wanted to do. And so actually, like, I, it's like I knew I wanted to be an author, and then it was sort of like, okay, what book should I write? And I was like, do you do the Stoicism book first? Or do you get this media stuff out of the way first? Yeah. So that was kind of, that, that was the idea. It's like, look, this book is timely. This book is sort of culturally relevant. I'm gonna write that one first. And so I did that. And then like the week that came out, I went out with the proposal for The Obstacles Away. You can imagine my publisher was not super excited. <laughs> I said, you know, my follow-up to this controversial marketing book would be, uh, would, would be uh, you know, a book about an obscure school of ancient philosophy. And they were like, we'll give you half what we gave you for the last one. <laughs> uh, uh, and that's only if it sells well, right? So it was not, it was not, uh, it was not blowing the doors off. But that was what I really wanted to write and that's what I was excited about.